At what dimension does intuition fail? Well, if you want to joke about it, then the answer depends on whose intuition we are talking about. And more importantly, how well they are nurtured by quality content. But seriously, how many types of mathematical phenomena are you aware of where there is a paradigm shift in behavior as some dimensionality is increased? If you are a STEM major, then you might quickly recall how chaotic attractors occur only at three dimensions and beyond for deterministic continuous time dynamical systems. If you are a bit more hardcore, then you might also think of how algebraic equations are generally not solvable in terms of radicals at degree 5 and beyond. Now, are there mathematical objects where a break point of intuition occurs at even higher dimensions? Today, I will introduce you to the concept of threshold logic and completely monotonic Boolean functions. We will build up an intuition that is valid right up to 8 dimensions, but fails at higher dimensions. So, what is a Boolean function? In two dimensions, it can be represented as a square graph where the node labels denote values of the input variables x1 and x2, which can be all combinations of zeros and ones. Each node is colored in blue if its output is zero or in brown if its output is one. Shown here are all possible two-dimensional Boolean functions. Of these, 14 are completely monotonic, while the two parity functions are not. As a side note, they are referred to as the odd or even parity functions because they have an output value of 1 whenever an odd or even number of inputs are 1. When is a function completely monotonic? Loosely speaking, it is when all possible parallel partitions of the function are compatible with threshold logic. This concept is more easily understood by looking at a counterexample. In the odd parity function, the x1 equals 0 partition and the x1 equals 1 partition cannot be both realized by a threshold logic over a weighted sum of the input values. This is because the relative change in the weighted sum on switching between these partitions is a constant. So, the outputs can only switch in one direction. In other words, the outputs should either remain the same or only switch to colors of one tone, either blue or brown, not both. If this is the first time you are hearing the word monotonic, it might be a good idea to pause this video and wrap your mind around this concept. It is a necessary but not sufficient condition for threshold functions to be completely monotonic. Luckily, for two dimensions, it turns out that all completely monotonic functions are realizable by threshold logic. Repeating this analysis for higher dimensions is tedious, but it is known by means of computer-based enumeration that all completely monotonic functions up to eight dimensions are realizable by threshold logic. However, it is possible to engineer completely monotonic functions in 9 dimensions or higher that can be proven to be unrealizable by threshold logic. Why? Why only 8? We don't know yet, but a brave person once said, every problem has a mathematical solution. To conclude, I hope that you developed a new perspective through this four minute video. Many thanks to team 3 blue 1 brown for organizing the summer of math exposition 2022.